Hi YouTube friends. Welcome back guys. So we're doing the part two. We're testing this product right here. We are testing the keto. I hope you can see it. We're testing the keto before six. And we are testing to see if I eat birthday cake, will I still stay in ketosis? If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell for future videos. All right, so if you haven't watched part one of my review of this supplement, please go back and watch that video so that this video makes sense for you. I'm gonna link it somewhere up here. I'll also put a link in the description below. So please pause this video and go watch that video first so that you will understand what I'm talking about. You saw the part one that the keto before six got me into ketosis really, really fast. So stick around and see if I can eat birthday cake and stay in ketosis while taking the keto before six supplement. So for those of you that are not familiar with me, I've been on a weight loss journey and I used intermittent fasting to lose most of my weight. So basically I'm a pro right now when it comes to intermittent fasting. I fast every day. I fast for 20 hours and I have an eating window of four hours. So intermittent fasting is not new to me. So when I tested the supplement, I started on day one of keto, day one of keto, and I did keto along with intermittent fasting. Basically what I'm saying is, is that I fasted for 20 hours, had an eating window of four hours, and during that keto eating window, I ate just keto foods. Some of the claims that are being made by um, the Keto Before Six, which is made by Quicksilver Scientific, is that it gets you into ketosis really fast. Um, also says that you can have cheat days, you can have carbs at dinner, you can have that birthday cake, you can have the pasta at dinner, and it will not kick you out of ketosis. Now, that is a game changer. The company that sells this recommends that you basically do keto during the day and intermittent fasting during the day. And they also want you to save your protein for dinner time. So they're wanting you to do keto during the day. So high fat keto during the day, go really, really low carbs. And it's saying basically save your carbs for dinner, save your protein for dinner, and you will not be kicked out of ketosis if you have that cheat birthday cake or the cheat pasta or whatever. Well, I'm sure you're wondering how I tested the supplement. All right, so what I did was I had two meals that day. I normally only have the one meal during that four hour eating window, but I opened up my eating window that day because I really wanted to give this, this supplement a test, a, a really good testing to see if the claims were correct. So my first meal was an A&W uh, double bacon, double patty, um, teen burger, lettuce wrap, no onions. <laughs> and my second meal, which I had at my mother-in-law's house, was we had a Swiss chalet. So I had a double leg dinner with all the fixings. Um, my side was a salad, I had the bun as well, and I also had ranch dressing um, as my salad dressing. And of course, the big test testing thing, because even though I did have the, car the bread as carbs, that was okay, it was actually the birthday cake that I really wanted to test. So not only did I have one slice, I actually had two slices of the birthday cake. I must say, this is a crazy uh, day of eating for me because I don't normally eat like that. So this morning when I woke up, I wanted to test to see if I was still in ketosis. I was scared and I was excited all at the same time. 
to see if this thing actually works. Um, so I'm just going to explain a little bit how the um, the keto sticks work for the people that are not familiar. So here it is here, the keto uh, colors. So basically what we want is we want the colors to be uh, darker and that basically shows that I'm still in ketosis. Okay, so the last time I tested it showed moderate. I was in the moderate zone. I might just put like a video here of the last testing so you guys can see. I was in moderate. So now basically all that I was hoping for when I did this testing was to see if I was still in ketosis. So I want it to show color of some sort and not, um, I don't want it to show negative where there's no color, if that makes sense. So, so there you have it. Um, you saw the, the video. I'm still in ketosis. As you can see, I kind of slipped back a little bit. So I was in moderate and now I'm back into the, um, the reading is says small 1.5, but I am still in ketosis. So, I mean, after having all that sugar, um, I'm, yeah, I'm still in ketosis, so there is something here, something here. How I took the supplement, basically what you do is you take one teaspoon of it and basically you hold it in your mouth for 30 seconds, then you swallow it. You can swish some uh, water in your mouth if you like. As for the taste of it, as I mentioned in part one of my video, I'm not really a fan of the taste. But for what it does, I'm okay with the taste. It sort of tastes like cough syrup, has a citrus um, sort of flavor to it. So the takeaway is this product, it does work. Um, it does keep you in ketosis um, from the results that I just showed you. Part one, it got me into ketosis quickly. Those are the two things that I've proved. Again, two things I've proved, it got me into ketosis fast. And I showed you guys that in part one of the video. Number two, what I just showed you is that I was in ketosis and it kept me in ketosis. Now, I, I'm sure that there's probably some of you guys out there that are saying that the keto sticks are not 100% accurate and you are correct. But I feel that because I'm not a regular keto person, I haven't been doing keto for years, that the readings are okay for me because my body hasn't gotten used to um, keto. But again, um, if you're going to test yourself, yeah, go ahead and, and do it. Um, test your blood um, instead of testing your urine if you feel that um, that's the way you want to go with it. But this is the way I wanted to test. So do it what works for you. Another takeaway is that, yes, um, they did say that, yes, you could have carbs at night. And it did prove that, yes, you could have carbs at night. I did have the birthday cake. And I did still stay in ketosis, but I don't want you guys to buy the supplement and think that you can eat an entire birthday cake or you can go on a, a binge or that you can um, eat like a whole tray of lasagna um, and that all you have to do is take the supplement before you eat and it's going to keep you into, keto into ketosis. I don't think that is the purpose of why they need this um, the supplement. I believe that it's made so that you guys can have flexibility with keto, that you could, um, you know, go out and have a beer, have some alcohol, um, and still stay in ketosis. But I guess what I'm trying to say is don't abuse the supplement. Just don't abuse it. Personally, I feel like if you're going to use a supplement, I would go into it realistically and don't go into it trying to you know, have like 
you know, like a thousand carbs at night. Maybe just have moderate carbs and go from there. I would suggest to use the supplement to help you get into ketosis faster. I would use it to help you with keto if you feel like, you know, you were like me and you struggled with keto. Use it to help you with keto so it keeps you in fat burning mode even when you have those slip ups. Use it for that purpose. I'm certainly going to use it if I'm going to birthday parties. Um, I don't know, maybe like take it when you're going on vacation because you know you're going to have those slip ups. If you decide that you're going to be um, taking this supplement um, every single day, I've seen an interview where the inventor of this product states that he takes this keto before six, he takes it every day and he has mental clarity on it, he's lost weight on it, um, he loves it and he does take it every day. I would say that if you do decide to take it every day, just be realistic with it and I would just do moderate, um, moderate carbs at night. I would also say that if you're doing keto or even if you're doing intermittent fasting, I would definitely give it a try uh, with if um, you may have to kind of play with when you're eating your carbs. And again, like I would suggest that you leave your carbs for dinner time and just play with the amount of carbs that you can actually have. I want to say thank you so much to Quicksilver Scientific for making such an amazing product. I'm sure you guys are going to want to know uh, where you buy this product. Um, you can buy it on the Dr. Vitamin Solutions website. I will put a link in my description and also a link in my comments so you guys can go purchase it. The cost of it is $49.61 for 100 mils, 100 mil bottle. Okay, just make sure. Yep. Yeah. For 100 mil, um, yeah, for a 100 mil bottle, and you get 20 doses in the bottle. Um, I've also seen another website, they do have a larger bottle. I think it's 500 mils, but I'm not 100% sure of how much that is. So you may want to just click my link and just go have a look and see for yourself. Don't forget to put it in the refrigerator as soon as you open it. And I really want to know um, how this uh, supplement works for you guys. Please let me know in the comments. Go out and get yourself some keto. Get yourself some keto before six. And as I said, I'm putting a link in my description where you can get it. And if I have any sort of discount codes, I'll certainly put it in the description as well for you guys. Um, yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with everyone you know. And of course, of course, of course, I love you guys all very, very much. Bye. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, please like, please share. And I want all of you guys to stay happy and happy. Bye.